If you create entertaining, relevant and helpful content, you will get followers. But unless your business is based on monetizing those followers through advertising or even sponsorship, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make more money. In fact, it may even be the opposite because you could be positioning yourself as a free resource rather than as someone who deeply understands the specific needs of your potential client and is ideally placed to help them. In this video, I'm going to dive into what it actually takes to grow the right audience and to take that audience from followers to clients. My name's Rachel Roberts and I help ELT, ESL and language teaching freelancers create and market a business that will enable you to earn more while working less. Particularly because there is a tradition within English language teaching for teachers to produce good quality free content. It's relatively easy to collect new followers just by doing this. And if you're good at what you do, to even go viral with certain posts. It feels good and like you're achieving something, but are you really? Going viral will expose your business to a wider range of people and a new audience. And of course, it may also help with monetization if we're talking about YouTube, for example. But when it comes to converting clients, it may well work against you because a lot of your new followers probably won't be your ideal clients. And when your next posts or videos don't do as well, the algorithm will notice that drop in interest and may register that as your posts or videos actually not being as good. Sometimes I come across people who've built up really big engaged followers Followings, particularly on Instagram or TikTok or within a free Facebook group, but then their audience don't seem very inclined to actually take the next step to pay to work with them. Or if they do, they expect it to be super, super cheap. So if this is you working all the hours, supporting and delighting your audience, but still not earning very much, where do you go from here? It's tough because you have a massive sunk cost in the audience that you've built. But the truth is that you've attracted lots of people who were only ever looking for something free and that you've almost trained those people who might have paid into expecting an awful lot for very little. There is some good news though. Within that audience, there probably are people who are actually interested in a paid offer. And everything you've learned along the way about building an audience is transferable to building up the right audience. Because don't get me wrong, you do need to build up an audience. If you only have a couple of hundred followers on social media, no matter how good your posts are, and no matter how right fit those clients are, you're likely to struggle because the algorithm means that only a very small percentage of those followers, maybe between two and 7%, will ever actually see any one post. A few hundred on your email list, on the other hand, is a different matter because you could have as many as 50 or 60% of those seeing your emails. So you do need to be gathering followers and connections. And you do need to have enough of them, but they need to be the right followers and connections. So you want to start building up an audience largely composed of those people who might be your ideal client or people who are connected to your ideal client and who will help to spread your posts further. This is why it's not always a bad idea to be connected with other teachers because those teachers are probably connected with students, some of whom might ultimately become your clients. And that's okay because everybody's going to pick the teacher that is right for them. If your clients are language learners, it's natural that you might struggle a bit to get them to comment because they don't always want to expose themselves or their English, especially on a platform like LinkedIn, which feels a bit serious and businessy. I think it's a bit easier on Instagram. But if other people are commenting, like the teachers that you're connected with, that will signal to LinkedIn that your post is interesting and it will show it to more people who are connected to your connections. And even if those people stay lurking, that's still helping you to build connections and relationships. And you may be surprised when people pop into your DMs saying that they've been following and reading everything you've written for ages. So what does it take to build a successful online language teaching business beyond amassing followers? 
Here are some key ingredients. Firstly, a clear value proposition. Define what sets you apart as a language teacher or teacher trainer and articulate the value you offer to your clients. Identify your target audience really clearly and tailor your offerings to address their specific needs and wants. Help them to get the results that they desperately desire. Secondly, high quality content. By all means, focus on creating valuable, useful educational content that showcases your expertise. But don't forget that your main job is to show people how working with you could help them, not just to produce good content. Build relationships. Do everything you can to let people get to know who you are and what you would be like to work with. Help them to build up that know, like, trust and be responsive when people comment. Help and encourage people to take the next step towards working with you. Is it super clear what that next step is or are you giving people no clue exactly what they should do next or far too many options so that they feel overwhelmed? Remove any doubts and hesitations by making it clear and reassure people that you're not going to start trying to force them into things and that you're a person who can be trusted. Get good at selling. This is a non-negotiable and it's not about trying to persuade people into things that they don't want, but it is a skill in itself that you do need to develop. It's about really listening to people, allowing them to explore what they really need and not being afraid to explain how you can help them. There are a lot of people I speak to who are at the stage where they can't quite bring themselves to be on social media at all or they just post very occasionally and quietly. But there are also a lot of people I talk to who actually are posting regularly and yet are not getting the results that they want in terms of consistent clients. And this is because they're focusing on the wrong thing. If you'd like some help with getting focused on the right things and getting some proper direction and traction in your business, I can help. Check out the description to find out more about my six month deep dive personalized supportive group program designed to flourish. If it looks good, let's have a chat.